Have you guys heard about the mysterious Shopkin? The what? The mysterious Shopkin. He appears from the shadows helping Shopkins in need. Like a superhero. Kind of sounds far-fetched to me. What do you think, Kooky? No, it's true. I saw him myself. I was playing with Mimi when... Ah! And when I opened my eyes, I saw the caped shadow flying off in the distance. Burnt bagels and breadcrumbs. That was close. He saved you, too? I didn't know you had seen the mysterious Shopkin, too. What happened? Well, I was cleaning when this dust cloud came out of nowhere. Oh, 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 you saved me. Thank you so much. Wait, who are you? How do I get down? I was stuck up there for a whole day. Too bad you didn't see who it was. I'd really like to thank them. Well, you never know. Maybe it's a shoppy we know. That's true. Got any ideas on who it could be, Cookie? Where did she disappear to? Maybe she's the mysterious Shopkin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. way. Check you later. Tonight on The Spatula. I love this show, but I'm getting tired. How long have we been watching for? Not that long. 20 minutes and uh, three weeks! I have missed so many shifts at the fashion boutique. I better call Shady and... Never mind. She fired me. I think I missed something, too. Uh, yep. Dentist. And I missed my flight. Yep, I was meant to go traveling with spilt milk. Okay, we have to get off this couch! <gasps> Hello? Mayor's office? Yes, I need to speak to Mayor Cookie. The mayor can't chat right now. She's, She's in an extremely important, important meeting! We need her help. It's about the small mart. <gasps> Mayor Cookie, the small mart needs you. Let's go. Walk with me, Apple. Tell me exactly what happened. We binge-watched the spatula, and now we have a massive power bill. If we can't pay within the month, they're going to shut off the power to the small mart. Chuck, how much do we have in the budget? We spent the last of our quarterly funds building the new chef club, buying TVs to watch the spatula on, and this clipboard. Chip, give me your rundown of Chuck's analysis. We have no money. Okay, we need to brainstorm. The most important thing right now is not to get sidetracked. I'm hungry. We should get food. We should make cupcakes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. let's do yes, it. Of course. Nice idea. <sighs> Dig in, guys. Fresh from the oven. Stand back, Mayor! Ah! Is the mayor safe, Chip? She's safe, Chuck. Come on, Toasty. We're trying to save money. I don't want to have to buy my breakfast today. That's it. Why don't we bake food and sell it to raise money? The Shopville Fall Festival is coming up in a few weeks. That'll be a massive opportunity. Except for one small problem. Does anyone know how to actually cook? More sugar. Come on, guys, it's Halloween. Let's take a break and go trick or treating. If we never learn to cook, we'll never. 
never save the small mart. And a bit of fun never hurt anyone, Apple. Come on, where's your Halloween spirit? You're not even in costume. I don't have time for costumes, Cheeky. Now hand me that bag of flour, please. Fine. Ah! <laughs> trick! But I never even said trick or treat. Eh, at least you've got a costume. Now you're a ghost. How did our samples go, Susie? Well, nobody really wanted to eat our treats, except for those scary bone-shaped biscuits. They loved those. Susie, those are Milk Bud's dog treats. Bah. See, Apple, that's all the more reason to go trick-or-treating. We need to research what Shopkins actually like. Can I go too? <sighs> Fine, but can you at least help me clean up this mess before you... Nope, they've already left. <laughs> okay, I'm like totally freaked out right now. <laughs> I never get scared on Halloween. Boo! I'm a tree. Oh, Susie, <laughs> save me! You were saying, Cheeky? That was just a flinch. I'll go trick or treating anywhere in Shopville. Oh, yeah. What about that house? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm not scared. I guess nobody's home. Ah! Hi, I'm Fleur Flower, and you must be scared. Get me out of this. Why don't you chew your way out? Is that fairy floss? Sure is. Made it myself. Made it yourself, huh? Finally! How much candy did you bring back? No candy. But I've got something even better. Somebody to help us cook. Is something burning? <gasps> this is the best cake I've ever seen in my life. I'm like sad because I want to taste it, but that means you'll have to cut it and it won't be perfect anymore. Great job, Lippy. These cakes will sell like crazy at the fall festival. I couldn't have done it without your guidance, Fleur. No problem at all. I'm happy to be teaching you guys. Uh oh, photos first. Then you can all try a piece. Whoa, whoa. Hey, guys, my cake is ready if you want to try it. Oh, yeah, we can wear it. Oh. Ready? Fleur, I'm not learning as fast as the others. Do you think we could do a few extra lessons? Of course we can, Toasty. Do you want to make another cake? I would, but I used up the last of the eggs. Well, you have to get creative with the ingredients you've got. Let's use buttermilk instead of eggs. Are you ready to become a chef? if you help down in the kitchen more often. Hey, I'm just glad that my meal is dry for a change instead of being burnt to a crisp. You want your turkey to be a little less dry? No problem. Hey! You know what? I actually have too much food on my plate. I should probably share with everyone else. Do you even remember the reason we're doing this? 
I do, but I'd rather sit in the dark than be subjected to this gruel. I didn't mean literally. <laughs> Thanks, Frida. That'll be two dollars. Any chance I could get one of those, too? I'm really sorry about the other night. To be honest, I'm just jealous because you're a way better cook than I'll ever be. Thanks, Cheeky. We're getting closer to our goal, Gag! The cow has already been turned off, and I cannot apply makeup without adequate lighting. Oh, no! Spilt Milk gets back from her trip today. I forgot to tell her about the power. Hey, guys. I'm back. Hello? What happened to the lights? Is this the switch? <laughs> Relax, guys. Nothing can stop us now. Uh, except for that. <laughs> eh, it'll probably just be a light drizzle. I feel I spoke too soon! I have an idea! Follow me! Oh! as much flavored syrup as you can find. Hey, everybody! Get your ice-cold storm slushies right here. Hey, do you have cola? Can I get a raspberry flavor? It feels good to have power again, although we need to be careful about our consumption. Totally. We should probably go to bed. I guess one more episode won't hurt. Definitely. I could watch another. I want to see what happens next. We could even finish the season. Check you later. Uh, Dressing up as Rudolph this year, Cheeky. No, I fell face first into a bowl of cherries. You mean my cherries? I needed those, Cheeky. I know we need to move as quick as we can, but try to be careful, guys. How's the snow going, Susie? OMG, it's a winter wonderland in here. This snow is, like, super swirly, though. That's whipped cream, Susie. So that means I've served my pie with a side of canned snow. How classy. We need help, Apple. We've got so much food to prepare before Christmas Day, not to mention everything else that needs to be done. Hey, gang, what's all the fuss? Hey, Fleur, it's the Christmas rush. Guys, I think I let this sit too long and now it's turned to mush. Sorry, Fleur, we're a little stressed. I'll say you've made a mess. From the stuffing to the pudding, the list just never ends. There is no need to stress when you've tried to do your best. All you need is good old-fashioned help from your friends. We'll cook a Christmas feast filled with all sorts of treats. A really yum selection of savories. And sweets. What's that? It's really tasty. It's custard baked in pastry. Mm, you guys have got to taste this gravy. Stir it till it thickens. While we help you hang the ribbon, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Just follow what is written. I'll take care of the chopping. While we hang up all the stockings. Just be careful in the kitchen, because the sink is not of clogging. Once we finish baking, we'll help with decorating. I spilled sauce on me. Don't forget to wear your apron. We'll be done in time for dancer. Dasher, fix, and prancer. Uh, who, like, ate the food we left for Santa? Sorry, I feel awful. As long as you're remorseful. All this food makes me hungry. <gasps> nope, nope, that's a bauble. We finished all the cooking! From the stuffing to the pudding. Now it's time to hang the star. Just, Just be careful, careful of your, your footing. footing. We've done our shopping spree. Wrap the gifts under the tree. Now we can finally relax. <laughs> but you forgot about me. We have plenty of chips for everyone, Buncho. This New Year's Eve party is gonna be awesome! Plus, we're gonna stay awake for the first time until midnight! Midnight? Oh, that means I'll only get 
48 hours of beauty sleep. I'll start to look like all of you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Eight hours. <sighs> I'm like already kind of tired just thinking about that. Don't yawn, because if you yawn, I'll yawn. Uh, uh, oh. Stay strong, Cheeky. You're about to set off a chain reaction of yawning. The fate of this evening lies in your mouth. It's only 3 p.m. Plus, there's still a few things we need to do before the party tonight. I've written up a list of tasks for everyone to complete. What are you organizing, Apple? That! Now we can have a big New Year's Eve countdown. Who wants to see a 30-foot minute hand? Oh, yes, yes. awesome. That is Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. That'd be so cool. So, like, does time go slower because the clock is so bad? Still the same speed, Susie. Since you ruined Christmas for me, I'm going to ruin New Year's for you. <laughs> Great <sighs> party, Apple. Hang in there, Susie. Not too long to go now. Ah! Happy New Happy Year! Year. Ah! Why are you all screaming? That's what you asked for, silly. I have to say, Apple, I'm not a fan of all this screaming. Makes me feel like a common garden weed. Spaghetti in the hole! Lippy with Lippy. Do you know how hard it was to find a spaghetti cannon? It's not exactly a household item, Apple. What are you all looking at? Why, why, why would you do this? That's what you asked for. Earthworks. Fireworks. I asked for streamers, a confetti cannon, and fireworks. Let me see that list. Hey, somebody changed this! We're sorry, Apple. At least we still have the countdown clock. Hey guys, it's nearly time. 10, 9, 8, 7! What's that noise? I knew we shouldn't have stayed up this late. Where did the clock go? Uh, I don't know. Hey! You think it's been longer than 10 seconds? Probably. Well, Happy New Year, I guess. <sighs> hey, Apple. We're really sorry about your clock. I didn't even realize what was happening. I should be more attentive. You know what? That'll be my New Year's resolution. That and reading an entire book. I'm going to clean out my closet. I'm going to get fit. I might take a nap and figure my resolution out later. Oh, wait. I'm, like, totally going to stop napping. Uh, I feel like I've heard all of this already. Okay, time to clean out my closet. Although I am hungry. Yeah, I could go with sandwich. After lunch, I might go shopping. of our resolutions. You know, we didn't technically see the clock strike 12, so it's not the new year yet. I say we make a pact to finish our resolutions before the clock is found. That may not take long, Cheeky. Mayor Cookie has the best Shopkins on the job. Check and chip, reporting for, for duty. duty. Ugh, not these two little biscuits again. <laughs> You might have more time than I thought, Cheeky. Come on, Chip. We've got work to do. Shh. Okay, chapter one. Hey, Cheeky, can you help me train? I'm trying to finish my resolution, Toasty. But I need you to help me finish my resolution. Okay. Let's place anything that's old in the to-go pile on my bed. I can't be in here, Olipi. Your bed is, like, really making me want to take a nap. Well, don't fall asleep, because I need you to help me finish my resolution. We, we need your help! Keep up the pace, Toasty.
empty and you'll be fit in no time. You get to read, Susie isn't near a bed, Toasty gets to work out, and my closet gets cleaned. Everybody wins. Did you hear that? It can only mean one thing. A fire. The clock. Oh, yeah. I mean the clock. I guess I can always start my New Year's resolution tomorrow. Uh, okay. I'm up. I'm up. Uh, hi. What are you doing? What are we doing? What are you doing? Well, it's my birthday coming up, so I'm shopping for a new purse. I think it came from this direction. Mm. Now my hand smells like cherry cupcakes. You know, a clock that size would be better suited in a central location. Would you like some help repositioning it? We're hiding it. <laughs> Oh, from who? My friends. I mean, a group of acquaintances. Acquaintances who couldn't even remember to get me a Christmas gift. You better not tell. Act natural. I won't. Because I'm going to give you the chance to make things right. Hey, you, Cupcake. You look guilty of... of... of something. Hey, stop accusing my friends of stealing. Your friends? Of course, Yolanda. Speaking of that, why aren't you wearing the bracelet we got you for Christmas? What do you mean? Lippy, did you put Yolanda's bracelet in her stocking? Uh, sorry, Toasty and I were still braiding it on Christmas morning. It's a friendship bracelet. Oh. <laughs> Merry belated Christmas. We're gonna keep looking for our clock. Let me know if you see anything. Will do. <gasps> <sighs> Morning, everyone. Ugh, what time is it? <sighs> 7.30. Wait a minute! Guys, it's back! What's it counting down to? It's too early for the next New Year's. I'm sorry your New Year's was ruined in the worst way. So instead, let's count down Jessie Cake's birthday. What a great idea. This is such a lovely gesture. Oh, wait. There's another card inside. Every birthday party needs a cake and a Kate. Somebody wants you to have a special birthday. Any idea who it is? I have a few ideas. later. You two look all happy. What's with all the happy? Well, after all the fun we had last month learning about Europe, we decided to learn about some other places around the world. Apple Blossom is organizing a big Shopville World's Fair. Everybody picks a different country, learns about it, and on World's Fair Day, teaches everyone what they've learned. I picked lizard. Oh. <laughs> I picked Brazil. Oh, sounds like fun. I'm sorry, Buncho, but rock and roll California isn't a real country. I'm doing it anyway. Hey, Apple, which country should I do? Hmm, let's see what's still available. Ooh, how about China? Okay. Wait, I don't know anything about China. Oh, China is a wonderful, super fascinating place. You'll have a blast learning all about it. Sounds pretty good. But what if somebody else got the country that's best for me? Cheeky, trade countries with me. Uh, I don't know. Come on, I'll do anything. Anything? We can switch countries. Great. Wait a minute. Hey, China is a wonderful, super fascinating place. Why didn't you tell me? 
me that. I did. I want to trade back. I'll do anything. Anything? You gonna tell her you haven't even picked a country yet? Nope. Time to try something new. Huh? That is your fortune. I have a knack for them. I will teach you your new skill. You're so wise. Yes, yes. <gasps> Chinese shadow puppets! A perfect and culturally relevant solution to her problem. She has found her calling. I'm really getting the hang of this. Take a bow, shadow puppet me. Dove il negozio? Non è possibile! Can it be? Is that the sweet dulcet sound of the motherland's tongue I hear? Peppa mint! You learn to speak Italiano? Trying to. I picked Italy as my country to learn about for the World's Fair. Just thought it'd be neat to learn a few phrases. Bene, bene! Show me what you've got! Buongiorno! Come stai? No, no, no! You cannot learn to speak Italian from a book! The Italian language is already in your soul! You just have to let it out! That doesn't really make sense! Repeat after me! È il momento di fare una danza! È il momento di fare... Non mi chieda! Io sono solo in disinventante per le mani! Non mi chieda! Andiamo a mangiare dei cannoli alla spiaggia! Andiamo a mangiare dei cannoli alla spiaggia! Oh, what am I saying? You said, let's eat cannoli on the beach. Cookie? Since when do you speak Italian? It was already in my soul. I just let it out. Peppermint, you require no more lessons. You are ready. Ready for what? Who are you calling? A random shop in Italy. Ha. Now speak! Speak, Peppermint. Speak from your soul. Mi piacerebbe comprare un carello di gelato. How'd I do? Eh, okay. What did I say? You ordered a gelato card. <laughs> I'll take a scoop of strawberry. No! Uh. Uh, not for me. Thank you. No? Seriously? Uh, okay. Oh, you bought a gelato cart? By accident. And they won't take it back. Accident on purpose <laughs> makes no difference to me. Hit me with a raspberry. Oh, oh, yes! That's so good! So good! I like so good. I'll take a lemon, 
please. That's the stuff. Hey, everyone, you simply must try this gelato. People looking at me. Get them to leave. They'll never leave as long as you're making gelato like this. <gasps> oh, make something gross. Huh? Okay. One fish and broccoli gelato. Mm, that's good. Crusty day old baby food and sauerkraut. Mm, you gotta try this. Wet noodle and olives, lemon lime dog food, sweat sock jambalaya. I have no idea what this one is, but it sure is gross. It's no use, Peppermint. You are completely incapable of making a bad gelato. You have a gift, and you must share it with the world. But I... I can't face all those Shopkins. I have an idea that will keep you out of the spotlight. But you need to make a little more gelato first. One at a time! One at a time! There's plenty of gelato for everybody. I got another request for that lemon-lime dog food. Here you go. Keep them coming, Peppermint. And when you get a chance, can I get one for myself? What are you in the mood for? Surprise me. Something with old cheese. This World's Fair turned out to be the best idea ever. It's like traveling around the whole world in a single afternoon. And I don't even have jet lag. Wait. Yes, I do. Help me, Jessie Cake. Uh... Ooh, that booth looks popular. Man, look at this crowd, Kooky. I'm totally gonna win this World's Fair. You know this isn't a contest, right? Right, right, I know. But still, I'm totally winning. New gelato flavors at her Italy booth. Get your gelato here. We got quadruple berry explosion. We got chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. We got the mystery flavor of mystery. Hey, get back here! Pookie? No. Hmm, gonna have to take my shadow game to the next level. <gasps> wow, look at that! Huh? Huh? New flavor over here! Did somebody say Shadow Dragon? We have sprinkles! My Shadow Puppet has her own Shadow Puppet! This isn't what World's Fair Day is supposed to be about. What are you doing? It's called fusion. Put your boots together and share the crowd. Gelato! Get your ice cold gelato here! Hey, everyone! Apple and Bancho just pushed their boobs together, too. Mexico-Australian fusion? Oh, this I've got to see. Oh, Mexico-Australian fusion! Oh, yeah. 